What's going on guys, Kamikaze here and we're back to playing Spooky Sussex Jump Scares, episode 9. Let's do this. So this is the second last episode and we're nearing Halloween tomorrow. So I do apologize for not uploading yesterday. I actually tried to upload this and it failed due to a problem with having enough space on my computer. But um, I fixed that and we're back to doing this again. So I only got to like room 810 when I first did this, so I don't know what to expect after that. Uh, a lot of times the rooms can change. Um, so, God knows what's ahead. Um, I'm aware that there is another specimen that were to me. And again, in the final 100 rooms. But if we get to 900, we're in good hands. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're near the end. We can't lose now. We just keep striving on. What is this? What is this? Well, what a, a mansion inside another mansion? Maybe I've made it all the way to the end of the house. Maybe this is like a resting place or another entrance, perhaps. Whatever the case, I think this is a good spot to rest. Let's go in the center because, you know, this mansion is strange. I think the bricks and wood are actually just painted on. Everything still feels kind of fake. Also, I keep hearing movement and voices behind me or below me. Maybe other survivors are hiding down there. Maybe. Can you get them? They're like yellow peppers or something in an ice cube or... Um, that's locked. Maybe the fireplace got in the fire... Oh, there was a key in the... Was there? I thought you could go into the fireplace. I, I guess not. Um, oh, alright, go right. Cause that's usually that. I don't know what to fucking do with this level. Like, it's so bizarre. Box. Um... I can hear him coming down the hallway. I need to hide, but I don't know where. I know that is not an exit or a resting place. It's just another specimen room. I think he says to the door now. I need to hide. Eh. Uh, hide. Okay, okay. I took a while when I guessed that you could just tap them. Um. I guess we're inside fans. I don't know. Let's see what happens. What's gonna come out? Um. Uh, also, am I in a wine cellar? Like, are them things on the wall like crudely drawn bottles of wine? Did I speak too soon? What is going on? Ah. Uh. Jesus. Um, what the fuck was he an axe? That must be said to go about. Moves and stopped. Okay. He didn't leave that behind anyway. Um, yeah, so I guess that's another one of the specimens. Um... Should I go across this way? Um, yeah, I don't like... What would have happened if I had of not been out? Or had of been out? Would he have gotten me? Would this be the end of Kamikaze Kid? Everything's locked. Maybe go upstairs. Um, always on the right. Oh, and it worked. Um, Uh, okay, music's just a sign of hiding, I think. Maybe maybe he'll come a few times, every now and again. This is going to be like this. I'm only at room 810 as well, so this is going to be a long episode if, if, he, if he's keeping up this momentum of making me hide all the time. I don't like this. And is it going to be like this all the way till 900? Oh, I, I have like a little peeky door I can peek out. It's like, it's like I'm a peeping Tom on some girl's um, dormitory. Did he just fucking say, are you in here? He's talking very strange. Well, I'm assuming that by hiding, it means he's very powerful. I'd reckon if I went out, he'd kill me in one hit. At least that's what I estimate. Oh, it's horrible music. I just like, diggity, 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 diggity. Horrible. Oh, a key. 
Hey, just go across the hall. Seems as I'm already up here. I somehow managed to get away, but I don't know for how long. I hear him even when I know he's not there. It's like he isn't even real, but instead my own fear is manifesting themselves and stalking me. It says you can hear me even if he's not there. Does that mean I have to hide? No? Okay. I, I thought that meant he's going to start coming after us um, without us even hearing him. Um, how fucked up would that be? I, I reckon I'm going here. Ooh. Okay. There's a key. Okay, go back out. I, I reckon it's just like opening and closing doors everywhere. Fake book picked up. Uh, hide. <laughs> typical, typical hiding and I'm still in room 810. Going in each one of these little rooms in this mansion part is like sub rooms. They don't count as a full room. Also, I wonder if he can catch you in certain hiding spots. Luckily, I think I'm in the only one in the room. That's horrible. He's like, has a big balding patch on the front of his head. I think he's wearing glasses, and it's like a reaper scythe. Ooh. It's like, it's like he's glitching into the wall, he's like... <laughs> fucking weird. Okay. Safe. Let's get out of here. Alright, uh, that book thing looked like where we were before, actually, or over here. It looked like a book, so maybe the library? This thing? Do you reckon it's like a secret? Yeah, probably like a secret, um... A secret wall or something. Se secret book. Oh, there we go. I guess he put it in. Oh, fuck me. Jesus Christ, look at this. This is like some Resident Evil shit right now. Like I'd say with most things, it's all Resident Evil. I was going to the right door. It's 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 how my mind operates in these games. I doubt you'd find us down here. It's it's very hidden. What key? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I guess he can. He's got to hide. <laughs> he's gonna open it. Fuck. I actually thought he was gonna open it. I thought that was like a 50 50 chance, like maybe we would escape the room or actually get a chase of him, maybe. I don't know. I'm just, all I know is that the music means hide, and when it goes, it means exit. No, I'm not. Please leave. Oh, I was fucked up. Okay, I have a key. Maybe we go back the way we came. I pray. Keeping an eye out. You never fucking know in these games. Having this recording helps though. Oh! Was that the ghost girl? Well, whatever it was, it was after us. Let's just get out of here. Alright, I know that that locked door up front. That by the fireplace. That's probably where we go. Let's pray. If I have to go back, then fuck that. That music is coming. Don't tell me he's gonna chase us this whole way now. I wonder if it's just like a straight run all the way. Or if like there's more like... Obstacles. Shit. I don't know if he's coming after us, but like, usually when he is coming after us, there's that little diggity diggity diggity. And I'm not turning me back. 
I, I am, I'm in no. I mean, well, I guess, I guess I lied. <laughs> I, I, I can kind of turn my back, but it, it really depends. And it's not handy because of all these little obstacle green waters in the ground. Oh, Jesus. And as I said, it's not a good time doing this during Halloween. I'd... And uh, that situation where you come out and the door, you know, there's just a wall and you have to make a decision. And that decision is you go left or right. And that could be your end. Because the door could be locked or it mightn't exist. Okay, that music stopped. Maybe we're in safe. Uh, a safe section. Oh, my heart. Maybe it's smooth sailing now. Who knows? I'm just gonna keep my head up. Lock. Oh, Jesus, no. Don't start this. Lock. The fuck was that? That was strange. I kind of started warping. It's like you walk enough, you teleport. <laughs> Shit! I killed the note. It was probably important as well. I'd reckon it was just about like you know the same old random shit. That's what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to kill that note. They don't want me to know what's happening in this whole situation. It's completely abominable. Everything is so fucked up and confusing. Random and oh, it's just so weird. Like oh, we're almost halfway there. Um, I, I reckon we'd actually be faster now when I get to 50 because if there's no more obstacles like at the start with the 100 room 110, it's just pretty much going straight through rooms. In fact, I'd nearly say to you to just skip to the end of the video <laughs> at that stage. But you know what? I'd say stick around because you don't know that. You don't know that what's going to happen. I know the way, so just let's just see what happens. I'm sure there might be more like things after us or a situation or two. I mean, it's the second last fucking <laughs> um, episode. Like, I hate long corridors. And like, part of it as well as you want to preserve your stamina for when you're going in the next room. Because if you walk in the next room with your stamina low, you're not gonna be able to run. Like to whatever's next. And I always, <laughs> I always tap E or spacebar kind of. Continuously gonna oh. <laughs> Okay. I think it's the ghost girl. So it's it is random what appears I guess. A friend of mine did this and said that they got followed by the ghost there at this point. And another one said um the the guy that doesn't let you get too far away. So I guess, you know, to some degree this game switches things up. There's like a chance system probably. Just wanna get out of here. The music is so like Sega Mega Drive or in this NES Game Boy. But it's scary. It's like Pokemon Lavender Town Syndrome. It just makes me want to end it all. I just gotta get through these rooms though. Like, just, we're almost there, like, we're almost, like, there's light at the end of this tunnel. And in the form of little candles on the wall, that makes a lot of sense. Um, okay. Top is that side point room. I actually do, oh, I actually do hope that this is, that room 900 has a side point. Imagine it didn't, and I got all the open, I was like, oh, bollocks, okay, this is, that, this is the final episode. Who knows? Who honestly knows until I get there? Unless, of course, you're watching this video now and it says finale and it... You know, then that'd make a lot more sense. <laughs> but I doubt it. Oh, the DOS system. I'm not, I'm not here to DOS, lads. I'm here to win. Uh, the rooms always repeat themselves. It's insane. Uh, I wonder if you can play that one. That, that um, arcade machine has been there, like since the start of the game and I'm saying to myself 
is it like a special code you put in to the planet or something or is it a chi or is it just like there as purpose of saying like the castle's incomplete the you know the game's corrupt or whatever like some of these creatures listen to me going on about an arcade machine playing this game this game brings out the worst of me all these hidden meanings and all that's what games are that's what makes games fun all right eight more rooms seven come on come on push it push it push to the limit it's what the fuck oh it's what's his face okay I can't I can't let him Fuck, come on. Two more poxy rooms. One. <sighs> oh, thank fucking Christ. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. Exactly. A more another kitty in the box. A game saved. On to the next one. So thanks very much for watching guys. I am sorry that yesterday I couldn't upload it properly. Like literally I spent the day trying to fix whatever problem it was from the recording. I could have just re-recorded it but you know. However it's done. It's dusted. We're on to the final episode. Tomorrow what I'm going to do is. I'm uploading this today. Tomorrow I'm going to do two episodes because I want Halloween to have the finale for this and Outlast. So, and I'll do the cosplay thing, the my Halloween costume tomorrow as well. So, hopefully you enjoy it all. And thanks very much for watching guys. If you like, subscribe, join the Kamikaze tribe, and I'll see you guys at the next one.